Welcome back to Domain 5. Domain 5 is titled Perform Specialized Risk Analysis. What's this all about? Well, here we come to the real nub of what a risk management professional does. The RMP certification is for risk management professionals. We said right at the beginning that it's PMP+. Plus. So we've been talking so far in the other four domains about things that a risk specialist should and could do on a project, but actually a really good project manager could do, do those things too, or a project controls manager or someone from the PMO. So risk strategy and planning, uh, stakeholder engagement, facilitating the risk process, and risk monitoring and reporting are all things that a good project manager could probably do, not necessarily being a risk specialist. But you know, there are some things that require that specialist in-depth risk knowledge and understanding and skills that only the risk management professional can bring to the project. So here in this domain, perform specialized risk analyses. We're saying, what is it that I bring as a risk specialist that nobody else could do on this particular project? Mm. So where does the whole world of agile fit into this aspect or risk management in general? Is risk management just for outside of agile, like predictive life cycles, or where does agile fit in? Well, some people would say that Agile, the use of an Agile or adaptive methodology um, is in itself a risk reduction methodology, that we're doing an Agile iterative approach in order to reduce the risk of um, getting something at the end of the project that doesn't meet the stakeholders or customers' requirements. So we do incremental development so that we de-risk the project. So some people would say because the whole Agile or adaptive approach is in itself risk reduction, that means we don't need risk management uh, in an Agile project. Well, you wouldn't be surprised if I disagreed, would you, being a, a risk specialist? So here's the question. If Agile is a risk reduction methodology, how do you know what the risk is? So what we say in Agile is we're going to divide the project into a number of iterations or chunks or tranches. There's different terminology used. Let's say chunks. That's nice and, and, and informal. And um, so we'll divide the, uh, the deliverables into a number of, of chunks and we'll do the riskiest ones first. So we make sure up front we deal with the risky parts of the solution, the risky parts of the development, the risky parts of the interfaces. Well, here's the first question for risk management. How do you know which are the most risky parts? So what we have to do as part of our agile planning when we're developing the release plan and thinking about which iterations, the content of each iteration, we need to have some way of assessing the risk of each set of, uh, of, of scope uh, requirements. So this is what we want to put in our first iteration because it's most risky. Well, we have to do a risk assessment to find out which are the most risky elements. So there is a, a risk part to defining iteration planning or chunk planning. And then once we've defined the content of the iteration and we start managing our sprint or our, or our, our chunk of work, then, of course, we have to make sure that we actually manage that in the most effective way. And so we have to have risk management of the iteration, risk management of the sprint. Now, the whole risk process that we've been talking about and that's in the PMBOK guide could be seen as quite onerous, quite burdensome. It takes a lot of time. Do you know, I disagree. What we need to be able to do in agile or adaptive projects is to do it all very quickly. And that's quite possible. In my view, the risk management process comes down to asking and answering six questions. And we can do that in about five minutes. So here are my six questions. What am I trying to achieve? What might affect me? Which are the big ones? What shall I do about it? When I did it, did it work? And what's changed? Now those six questions are the risk process. Objective setting, what am I trying to do? What might affect me? Risks threats and opportunities, which are the big ones, prioritization, quant qualitative, quantitative analysis, what shall I do about it, response planning, did it work, implementation and review, and what's changed, the risk updates. Now, we can answer those questions in 10 minutes, or in 20 minutes, or in an hour, or in a day, or in a week. The risk process is answering those six questions, and the level of the risk process depends on the environment of the project, or the methodology of the project. So there's no reason why we shouldn't go through the whole risk process in an agile or adaptive project for an iteration mm -hmm. and do it in 10 minutes, mm -hmm. maybe every morning as part of our, our setup meeting for that iteration. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we just very quickly run through the process. Now, the question is, is it a specialized task under domain five? I would say no. I would say this is standard application of risk management in an agile or adaptive environment. And in fact, the PMBOK Guide 6th edition is, uh, is very cognizant, is very aware of the agile approach. Every knowledge area has a section at the beginning that says, this is how you apply this, this knowledge area in an agile environment, including chapter 11 for risk. And there's an appendix at the end of the PMBOK Guide, which is all about adapting the knowledge areas and the process groups for an agile or adaptive or iterative approach. Okay. So the, the, the PMBOK guide, which is standard PMP, mm. takes account of agile, including risk management. And in order to implement risk management on agile, we need to know how risky are the various elements when we're building our iteration. And then when we're running the iteration, make sure that we actually do it effectively by managing risk during the iteration, but doing it quickly mm. rather than spending days or hours over it. Absolutely. Well, that answers that question. Why don't we roll up our sleeves? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> and get started with task one, final domain, domain five, when we come back.